So what we're describing here is the sum of an, what do we call this thing? An arithmetic um, progression, which is, progression is just going to be our word for like a bunch of things together in an order, right? So you often get these called APs, no relationship to the exams, okay? So the sum of an arithmetic progression. We can say this in two ways. The way I just showed you, I'm going to say the sum of n terms. So I'm going to put that n down in a sort of subscript. Okay. What it equals to is, first, how many columns did we end up with? Well, it comes from how many terms you had in your arithmetic progression. So we call that n. Right? Um, just because it's convenient and because I don't like writing long fraction lines, that division by 2, I'm going to chuck it out the front here. Okay, and then what do I multiply that by? What is each column? How tall is each column? It's it was in our in our examples one plus eleven, but generally speaking, it's the first term a plus the last term l. Okay, now what I want to do is push on this a little bit, and I want to recognize the fact that you guys have a name for this, right? Think back to last lesson, the last term. If you've got a uh, if you've got a series of, um, yeah, a, t a bunch of terms, right, we would call the last term term n, right? Like term 20 or term 50, depending on how long your series is, right? What's our expression for that? What can we call this nth term? We have a formula for that. Do you remember what it was? Think, think. You, got it. you always start with the first term. A plus. Plus. What do we add on to that? N minus 1D. Very good. Now, why is it N minus 1? It's, it's how many terms along you are. You take away 1 because you're not counting the first term. And then you multiply that by that common difference that we outlined before. Okay? So if this is what L is, then I can just like substitute that in. And I've got like N's and A's and stuff that will actually sort of simplify a little bit. So I can say the same thing, the sum of that arithmetic progression. I can also say it like so. N on 2. That's still at the front. And then in here I'm going to write, actually I'm going to use a square bracket because I've got brackets in brackets here. A, there's the first term. And here comes the last term. I'll write it in the red so you can highlight it and see, right? The last term is a plus n minus 1 lots of the common difference. That's an, yeah, very good. So there's just a teeny, teeny bit of collecting of like terms here. So this is the way we could simplify it. OK? Now, you will use both of these. OK, so we've got our first one, our first one here. This is nice and succinct. You've got this one, which is a little fancier. But it's kind of handy if you don't necessarily know what the last term is. You just know, I want to do this many terms. I don't even know what the last term is, but if you tell me it's the 20th one, I can still use this formula. Okay, so as an example, let's go with that series that we just did before. That was the sum of the first n odd numbers. So let's do a little subheading here. Okay. So if I wanted to work out, we were doing... Um, yeah, yeah, go ahead, please, thank you. Um, we did six, six odd numbers to begin with. But, you know, let's do something a little more ambitious because we can actually do a bigger amount in this now that we have a formula for it. So I'm going to work out what is the sum of the first 15 odd numbers. Now this would actually take some mucking around to do, okay? How would I use this formula to help me with that? Well, let's think about this. How many, how many terms am I going to have? I'm going to have 15 of them, right? So I'm going to write right at the outset, there's my n on 2. Okay? So far, so good. Um, now I do this part in the middle. So two lots of the first term. Well, what's the first odd number? One. It's just 1. So I'm going to write two lots of 1. I know you probably could have just gone straight to 2, but you guys know I really think it's helpful to put the substitution step and make it explicit. Okay? Plus, I've got n minus 1 again. I did the n already. It's... 15, so I'm going to go 15 minus 1, and what's the difference between each of the odd numbers? Uh, it's 2. Why did I do 1? Are you talking about this one here? Yeah, yeah 2 lots of what? What does A represent again? One. Uh, two. We choose A because it's the first term. It's the first term, which in this case happens to be 1. Yeah, um, and then that's it. I close my bracket. Okay. Now, let's just quickly have a go at this. 
Hmm, seven and a half times, what do we got here? Two plus, that's 14 times two? Which is uh, 28, 20, yeah, 14 times two is 28, so I've got 30 in here. 30 lots of seven and a half, does anyone tell me what that is? Uh, seven, seven and a half times three, that's 210 plus 15, 225? Now, by the way, 225, fun fact, 225 is not just a random number, it's a special number. It's the square of 15. I chose this example because, um, here's the way you can show it, by the way. The sum of the first n odd numbers is just n squared. Look, I'll prove it, okay? Here is the first odd number, which is the first square number, agreed? What's the next odd number? It's three, right? Now I could do it as a vertical column like I showed you before, but I'm gonna do it a little differently. Do you agree that this is another way to represent three? Right. <laughs> Your brain's like, oh my gosh. So this is one plus three, right? Which is equal to? Four, which is two squared. What's the next odd number? Five, which I could do as a column, but rather than do as a column, I'm gonna represent it wrapping around like this. There's my five, which is three squared. So you can see why we're interested in arithmetic progressions. There are so many beautiful patterns that you find in there, okay? Now, real quick, we just saw how to use this. When is this useful? When you know how many terms and where you start, right? When is this one useful? When you know the last term. Yeah, it's when you're, sometimes you get handed the last term. They're like, oh, I'm just gonna end on 11, like the example I showed you before. You don't need to go through all of this, it's more work. Just tell me 11 and off you go, okay?